Hey guys, what's up? Okay, so we actually got pushed out of our little spot today while we were shooting. That won't stay open. We got pushed out of our little spot, and so I wasn't able to do my traditional, you know, range report at the range. So we're not at the range, but this is range report for Saturday, the 13th of April. Wow. Okay, let's get into it. What did we work on? We worked on some stuff, finally. Thank the Lord my wife is back. She's been away for, at work for like months and now she's back and holy cow, it is fantastic to have her back. Um, not only for obvious reasons, but also I'm able to get out and like get some work done. So uh, we did get out, we finally got out. Um, the main focus of today, the main focus was this rifle, this pistol and this upper. Okay, this particular upper in particular is the main focus. We've been doing some chrono stuff on this guy and this guy, and the main things about them is these are Broad River Tactical um, SD style systems, right? So this guy looks like an MP5, he acts like an MP5, um, except he's not roller delayed at all. Um, but he is ported, the barrels are ported just like this guy right here. See how they're ported in the back? Anyway, this is range report, we're not getting into reviews on these things. Uh, but this guy is different because they we did some, not we, I didn't do anything, it's my idea. Um, but the guy who makes these barrels, Broad River Tactical, Chris, um, he counterboard this about an inch down and so we're getting some chrono numbers trying to get the numbers the velocities down as much as possible so i'm helping them out with that so this was interesting this is telling it's interesting have theories about it but that's all we can say about it for now um so that was that guy um some other stuff we worked on um uh, not that guy well kind of this guy this has the foxtrot mic adjustable bolt carrier group in it. I did not even know Foxtrot Mike had an adjustable bolt carrier group, but apparently they do. And we tried it out and it's pretty cool. It works, it's very simple. Um, it actually has the same patent number as the bootleg bolt carrier group for whatever reason. Um, and then it says other patents pending. Not sure which of the other patents are that are pending or not pending or whatever, uh, but it works very similarly to the bootleg adjustable bolt carrier group, right? Foxtrot Mike has two settings, suppressed and unsuppressed. The bootleg has four settings. The bootleg can be adjusted while the carrier is installed in the upper receiver. Foxtrot Mike, you have to take it out of the upper receiver in order to adjust it. Not huge deals, uh, but it is worth noting. And Fox, uh, Foxtrot Mike is about half the price as a bootleg, so that is something to note. That was interesting. Um, something else we did, we got these two suppressors out. This is the Griffin Armament HRT 556. This is the Griffin Armament, Armament uh, Duloc 5, right? Duloc, Duloc 5, yes, the Duloc 5. Um, they're 556 version. Now, I've had both of these for a while. This one's mine, this one has to go back to them. These are very, very similar cans. And I specifically requested the Duloc 5 because I've had some people ask some questions about it and basically, in very basic terms, these are the same suppressor, but they're not at all. This is an overbuilt tube design, has a tube around everything. This is a tubeless design, more lightweight. You can tell by holding them. This, the, the Duloc 5 is, is, is definitely a lighter weight can. It's got bigger venting in the front, so it should provide less back pressure. Um, they're very, very, very similar cans. They're not really the same cans. I just said that to drive people nuts um, and to get people to come in here and be like, no, they're not. You know, it's kind of clickbait, but ear bait, whatever it's called. Itching ears. The Bible calls it itching ears. Anyway, we tested these guys against each other, not against other cans. Um, I just didn't, wasn't able to bring out every single can that I had and run them and do a whole 5.56 five, comparison. But we did compare these two against each other. We ran it on a 7.6, uh, uh, sorry, a 7.5 inch barrel. Um, 12 and a half inch barrel. We did not run it on this guy here. We ran it on this, a 13.7, 13.9, whatever this guy is. We, we got a jackal for what, whatever reason, something got up in me and I had to go try this. Um, uh, long story short, we have one now. And we did try it on here. And this actually works really well as far as being able to adjust your gas on it and suppress it. And it wasn't bad, it wasn't bad. Um, that was actually our first shots with this guy. Um, so that's something else that we were doing while we were out, testing that guy out. 
This little fella over here is actually quite unique. That's why I'm dressed up in this ridiculously looking getup. Um, this is the Foxtrot mic um, M102, the mic 102. This guy, sorry, had a little technical difficulty there. This guy is the Foxtrot mic M102, right? So this is kind of like an AR, but it's not. I mean, it kind of it depends on what you call an AR. I don't know. Uses a lot of the same pieces, just like most of their products use a lot of the same pieces. But this guy even branches off even differently because um, he uses uh, 556 AK mags, feeds off of those. He is, this is the slap mod, so this one should lock open to the side just like this. You can load it and everything. An interesting thing about this, of course you can load it. An interesting thing about this is that it's kind of like the rifle built for disabled people. And I attribute that to my brother because he has a very, I have kind of a gimp hand, but he has a gimp arm, let's put it that way. And fine motor skills with a gimp hand or arm can be a little bit tricky. Gross motor skills, like pulling that charging handle back, using a lever instead of a button, it makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense. That's why it's kind of like the rifle for the disabled. But anyway, um, we brought this guy out and we shot it, put it on paper, and just had some fun with it, basically. Um, overall, I think that's most what we did. We also brought this guy out. This has been a thorn in my side, even though it's cool that they sent this out. G-Force um, Raptor, I believe is what this is. It's a cool concept, it's a cool idea. I've just broken two of their slides, which is not a normal thing to do in my experience. I've never broken a slide, but I broke two of their slides. Um, first time they sent me a new one, a new slide, replaced the old one, sent the old one back. Second slide that I broke, I just can't contact them anymore. I've emailed them, I've called them, I, there's no communication. They knew I was gonna make a video about this because they sent this to me to review, so I'm not sure what's going on. So this slide and everything up here, this is basically AIM surplus. Um, I bought it. Um, uh, the slide, the barrel, and I think we stripped the internals out of the G4 slide because it is compatible with Glock 26. Cool idea. Again, we're gonna do a video about this, but we brought this thing out to shoot and try to see if we can make it work. And it kind of worked. It worked most of the time. Uh, we shot it suppressed a little bit. And how much of that is the gun not working and how much of that is the fact that we have aftermarket aim surplus pieces and parts stuck on a, another gun? I don't know. I don't know. So we're gonna keep playing with it, but we are gonna make a video about that. I wish it worked exceptionally well because I would love to carry that gun. It's super, super cool, but it's got some problems. Anyway, that's that guy. I think that is pretty much everything. Um, I gotta wrap stuff up because I got work to do. I gotta do a bunch of stuff on the truck and I gotta do stuff inside. So if you guys, blah, 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 blah. If you guys got any questions about anything you saw here, let me know. Um, look forward to these videos coming out. Each one of these should have their own little thing coming out. Now that we're able to get back in the rhythm of things a little bit, um, hopefully we can kind of actually push out some more content. The last two weeks, we just didn't have anything in the queue ready to go. Sorry about that, but life is life, and sometimes we get behind. Uh, but if you got any questions, let me know. Um, if I can help you out, let me know. Um, that's it. You'll be, you'll be safe. Appreciate you. Hopefully we'll catch you in the next video. See ya.